Hi guys and welcome to a new video. This is some batteries, of 18650 batteries I've just bought from China. So um, this set here, this set of four, are supposedly 12,000 milliamp. If you focus in on that, so 12,000 milliamp. You know, let's, so what I did was I thought, right, let's go and actually check what's in them. So basically I, bu I bought these two sets of these batteries to power these torches, Skyray Kings they're called, with eight LEDs. So they need four batteries in them to work properly. You can run them on one, but you need four batteries. So they need to be button top cells, and I've been struggling to get button top cells to run, to find button top cells. I have flat top only, so I had to buy these to run these torches. So let's go ahead and look at the seller. So I bought from two separate sellers, but they are actually the same person. So these are the green ones. So as you can see up there, it says 5,800 milliamp power. There we go. So let's take that out. I'll show you what it says on the description. I thought, let's give them the benefit of the doubt and see if they are actually what they say they are. So they said they were blue anyway, and they came as, yeah, as, as green. So... And then it says 100% quality Japanese battery cells. If you can see it there. Manufactured by high capacity power products. And then the net weight was 38 grams. So it all sounded reasonable with a package weight of 45 grams. So I have actually written there. Genuine Samsung weight. It's 47 grams and that's a flat top cell. Not one that's protected like this. So the PCB or button top. Which would also add weight. So... On the button top, there's the button top and the PCB as well, which would add a couple of grams. So that's that's the first lot of green cells. This is a new uh, disclaimer they seem to be putting on the bottom of their descriptions. So that's the new description. That's the new disclaimer. I don't know what that's supposed to mean. It's just gobbledygook to me. So let's move to the next so-called seller which is actually the same person because the return address was the same on the parcel. So these are the ones that are in the camera's view now. They're 12,000 milliamp ones at 454 for four so a little bit more expensive but you're getting 12,000 milliamp aren't you so it doesn't, <laughs> doesn't matter. The other ones were 99p each so I just bought four of them. So that's... If you, So this is what he says in the description. 100% brand new and high quality. Specifications. Four piece. A capacity. 12,000 milliamp hour. And the same old bump at the bottom again obviously. I think that's to try it as a disclaimer to try and get away with not giving you your money back if, it, if you don't feel that you've been given what they said. So let's go ahead and uh, check what actually I found show you how I did it first so I tested them with this charger which I've already done a video of on YouTube the Lita Carla Engineer Lee 500 and that will charge this one will charge virtually all types of cell it will charge I don't know if you can read it there let it focus in nickel metal hydride double A triple A A SC sizes and all the popular lithium ion cylindrical cells a neat little charger and the benefit to this one is that it will it will drain your cell and then recharge it and tell you exactly what's in it. So that's what I did with this, with this char these both set to these batteries. So let's go ahead and show you the first one. So it's supposedly 12,000 milliamp hour. Let's let it focus on that. There we go, supposedly 12,000 milliamp hour. What it actually gave me was 541 on that one. So 541 milliamp hour. And this one was 450. Just get that back in focus. And then this one was supposedly 12,000 again. It came out as 560 and 602. So let's just go ahead and show you what the blue ones, the green ones were doing. Just 
just bear with me sorry I'm just putting them in the thing so they don't roll around so that's the first ones let's do the second ones I have actually dealt with Samsung laptop batteries so I know what they should be and what they should look like and what they should feel like so let's just go 5800 there so these are the other ones which are the green ones so 5800 milliamp hour give it a little focus yeah that's what they should be but obviously they can print whatever they want on the sleeve so that actually did 499 so they're very similar 507 it's no surprise because they're from the same seller so he's having them made for him as far as I can tell because there's no they're just selling so many of them that they can't any longer find the stocks to recondition the old ones because they give you more milliamp hours the older versions to put it into context I bought a torch with a battery and this is what I got from that one this is an ultrafire well known for being rubbish and I got 1671 milliamp hour at 125 resistance so that's an ultrafire and that's four times more that one cell has more than all of them combined so if I just put that one in it and give me the same light as all four of them and that's an ultrafire which is supposed to be rubbish so this way may well be a reworked one so that's that one so let's go as soon as I picked them up I knew there was something wrong with these because they are very light they're nowhere near what they said they should be and they sound hollow basically it doesn't sound like there's anything in there so I went and thought right let's check the actual weight of these so bear with me while I just get my scales so let's just go ahead and get this lined up so let's zero that so as a benchmark let's go ahead and put a laptop battery a Samsung laptop battery out of my charger which is just bear with me while I get one of the cells out so this one is a Samsung battery try and let it focus so that's a 30 amp Samsung genuine ICR battery from a laptop battery six of them so that's got 2288 so let's just go ahead and tell show you what that one is so that's 46 for that one so that's 46 if you want to make a note of that that's what a genuine Samsung cell should be so they should all be somewhere near that so let's go ahead and do the ultrafire which is the next one down if you can see that I just bought this one from the UK a torch I think it was seven quid uh, so really I paid about two and a half three quid for this cell uh, and they supplied the tor the battery with the torch and a shoddy charger so that's 1671 ultrafire so let's see 42 so 42 let's just see 42 and 46 so that's already four grams less for the ultrafire so there's something and that one's got a PCB on it as well a button top so it's already light so let's do that one again 46 let's go ahead and, and do two of these so remember 46 that one's 24 obviously a lot lighter almost half the weight it should be that one is 24 again so at least they're consistent consistently bad <laughs> and that one is 24 again so they're getting consistent at least they're making them correctly to their specifications so they're obviously making them now for 50p or whatever so 20p probably so they're all 24 grams let's go ahead and show you another show that one again to reset it so 45 
from the genuine Samsung. So these are now the yellow ones. 25. 26. Oh, so a little bit more in them. 26. 25. So 25. And that one is 24. So the green ones are about 2 grams less. So you pay a little bit more. You get a tiny little bit more lithium inside, I would have said. So, um, so basically, that's that's it. So uh, take what you will from that. If you want to go and buy cheap Chinese batteries, what I would do was is not bother, basically, unless you want a set of batteries that are only 400, uh, 400 milliamp. So you're more than welcome, basically. So uh, that's it. Right. Anyway, thanks for watching and check back soon. Thank you, guys.